and sadly following its purchase by Red Bull and looking rather forlornly, probably appropriately, it's the last occasion in which we'll have the Minardi name in Formula One. That's very sad news for all the race fans around the world who've grown to love this back of the grid team. A team, of course, that has brought many great stars into Formula One. It's a shame because uh, it's a young, small team. Uh, young because the people there are all very young, very passionate about the sport. And we don't have to forget that this team has uh, brought uh, in a lot of new young drivers, which eventually then some of them became, became also champions like Fernando. They are fantastic people. Uh, the mechanics, I lived there in Italy for one year. So I hope they can keep in Formula 1 in the, in the new team because the, the strongest point of the Minardi is always the, the people inside. The Minardi name uh, is very, very passionate uh, in Faenza down there. I, of course, I drove for them and under uh, when Paul was running the team. And obviously, uh, Mr. Minardi was still involved. And uh, super guys, really, really good. Uh, the best food in the pit lane as well. Lots of reasons why they're, uh, they're good. Minardi was uh, my first team. Uh, I Minardi mean, was the people, the person who gave me the possibility to jump in from one car for the first time. So uh, that's not great, but unfortunately, that's the life. I am not only triste because I've had 21 years of stupendi. I'm not sad because I've had many years of, of happiness and success in Formula One. I brought many drivers into Formula One, many engineers into Formula One. It's not all ending, there are new owners and there is a new future for the Minardi team. Giancarlo, congratulations on a fantastic time. Grazie, ciao.